Hello friends, Comic Head 84 coming at you with a contest video entry for my pal, one of the best channels out there, Dave at Mr. Miracle Comics. Great dude from the great up north, the great north, is that a thing? Great north in Canada. Um, one of the best, I'm not a big, too big of a speculation guy, but I will say uh, Mr. Dave at Mr. Miracle Comics has probably one of the best speculation or as he likes to word it undervalued comic channels out there he's not like specking on flavor of the month books things that may be fads he's like digging into Bronze Age he, it looks like he specializes in Bronze Age speculation and keys which I think is a really great sweet spot for undervalued comics and excuse me stuff that tends to endure too so very probably the most quality uh, speculation comic channel out there he knows his stuff um, and I think he has pretty good insight matter of fact before I get into my picks I, I just want to point out to you that I picked up a comic just to give an example of uh, Dave's knowledge and stuff, he's the one really that put me on to this book and said, "Guy, he said, don't sleep on the second appearance of Mr. Freeze. This is only the second time he's ever appeared, the first time he's called Mr. Freeze uh, prior to this in his first appearance, which is a very expensive book, he is called Mr. Zero. But I was able to get the first time he's called Mr. Freeze. I grabbed this one for 15 bucks, and it's in pretty good shape. So, testament to you. I just want to thank you for putting me on to that. I got that because of you. Now, he's holding a contest in honor of Batman's, you know, 800th. Am I mixing that up? 1,000th issue, 80th, 80th year anniversary, uh, which is cool. And, yeah, he's holding the contest with some great prizes. Uh, looks like there's a cool mystery box in the cards. Um, and what he wants us to do is do some of our own speculating or just pointing out some undervalued comics that are in our collection. Uh, he asked for two, but I'm going to give you four. I'm going to try to over-deliver for you. Um, so, without further ado... I wanted to try to pull out some, we'll see. Uh, I'm going with this one. New Teen Titans Annual, number two, first appearance of Vigilante. I think Vigilante is a cool character. Uh, I think he's yet to have his day in the sun. And with the DC Universe app popping, He's a very easy character to adapt. You know, it's not like he's some big cosmic entity and it's like, man, how are you going to do that? He's a street level dude. Um, DC's Punisher in a lot of ways. And I think it's very easy for him to pop up in something. And since this book is so easily attainable, you know, this book will probably turn into a, from a 10 to $20 book, maybe up to 50 bucks or something if he should. I don't think anything monumental would happen with the book if he showed up in like a DC Universe show or something but I think the book would rise in value and I think he's yet to get his shine so first appearance of Vigilante and it's just a great cover what a great book to have in your collection it's just a beauty I'm gonna go with that one you'll find that cheap um, next up staying on DC I also think that Static Static Shock has not reached his pinnacle either in my opinion I think he's sitting there waiting to be utilized as like the Miles Morales of the DC Universe I'd love to see you know something with static whether it be live action or even like a Spider-Verse type movie but with static you know so I think there's, there's still some movement here this one is a poly bagged copy 
uh, I don't know. I feel like I've put in the comments what what do you guys usually do with the poly bag? I, my inclination is to keep it in the bag and preserve it, but at the same time, it's I can't really see what the condition of the comic is because it's in this bag. And I thought if I was to like, I've seen these slabbed around, and I don't know, maybe I'd slab it, but I need to look at the condition first before I do it. So let me know. I don't know if in or out of the bag really affects the value much. So again, I could use some, probably some advice on the poly bag department, because I don't have too many of these. But I will say, this is a good buy. You can find this one cheap too. I think I only paid like three or four bucks for Static's first appearance. Next up are, those are kind of more lower tier characters, but the two bigger tier characters that I still think have room is one more DC, one more DC book that I think is still undervalued is first appearance of Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne, in my opinion, the best Robin. My favorite Robin. Uh, I love that character. I think he's excellent, super cool, and I think he will also have his day of shine uh, some sometime. I don't know in the near future or what. I don't know what the fate of Batman properties are, but um, Damien's a great character. I think he's here to stay, and you can still grab this book at a nine eight. Actually, I might be yeah in slab. You're gonna spend over a hundred bucks likely, but you'll definitely find this book raw for under a hundred bucks. So I would consider doing that. There's the Cuber variant cover, just like a kind of like a golden type of cover with a different image which is a bit more valuable than this one but the A cover I feel like you can find it around uh, I grabbed this one slabbed because I'm a big Damian Wayne fan so boom Batman 655 the last one is a book that it's no secret it's no secret that this is a hot book or a valuable book but it's got it's still got room, y'all. Fantastic Four sixty seven. The first, you know, the cocoon issue. The first, I think they called his first cameo appearance of him, aka Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock is still gonna pop. James Gunn is back in the driver's seat on Guardians of the Galaxy, and he left the breadcrumb for us at the end of part two. We saw the cocoon, we saw him called out by name, saying his name is Adam. That's not an accident, y'all. Adam Warlock will likely be in the next Guardians movie, which is coming from James Gunn, so we're going to have continuation there in his continuity. And I would imagine they're not just going to use Warlock as a throwaway character. I have to think that if they put that little teaser there, and Adam Warlock shows up in the third movie, it's going to be a big deal. I would imagine the movie might even center around him in a big way uh, because he's such a such a relevant character. I mean, he was a big part of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, and so he's, they're definitely aware of him. Uh, they got to be aware of uh, how influential that character is, and he's just badass. He's cool. So... I would say it's a safe bet that you will see Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which means good things for this book if you have it in your collection. Um, I'd like to get his first full, which I think is the Thor issue. Uh, the number escapes me, but you know his first cover—he has a cover appearance on that one. I'm gonna make a point to add that one to my collection as well in the near future, by the end of the year, because I think good things are coming for Mr. Him, Adam Warlock. Bang. So, there you have it. Mr. Miracle, congratulations on your channel, buddy. You have over 400 subscribers. You're going strong. You're a great member of this little network collective of comic fans. Keep trucking, buddy. Just wanted to show you some support. Everyone check him out. The best speculative comic channel in the game is run by Dave at Mr. Miracle Comics. These are my picks. I'm not as good as him. He's got a better eye than me, I think. But this is what I'm thinking. Alright, guys. That's all I got. 
Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!